All right, so I'm super stoked about this fun. Might be the best fun that I've got here. It's hard to hold it all together. Wasn't expecting that. Pennsylvania, the Allegheny Valley. There are thousands of home sites swallowed by the forest over the last 200 years. Tired and running out of time, Sean, a PA truck driver, and Jerry, a healthcare professional, are making plans to hit the forest to locate these lost home sites and find treasures their inhabitants have left behind. Sean is hitting the woods to find his great grandmother's home site. He has been here before, but only in the winter when leaves aren't obstructing his view. In the summer, the foliage makes it extremely difficult to locate. He could walk right past and never know it. Guys, so I made it down to the site here. I don't know if you can see that right there. One of the massive pine trees that I always look for when I walk down in here to try to find the home site. It's not laying. There goes some of the area to detect. But actually, farther down this way is where the actual cellar hole's at. So I'm hoping there's still a lot to swing in here. Um, hey, you never know, that's part of nature comes through, wipes out a pine tree that's been standing for 150 years. All right, so <clears throat> got the DS2 out. This was bringing up a uh, 85 or 87, I believe. To be honest with you, I don't even know where I'm at in here and, you know, compared to where we were at the last time, because I. When we were in here before, there wasn't any uh, under underbrush or growth. So everything was like really apparent. You could see everything. Um, I'm actually concerned about losing my bag. I'm down, I'm, I'm assuming I'm down towards the cellar hole. Somewhere, somewhere back in here. I'm maybe, uh, maybe we didn't even come over this far. I don't know, but I got something good in the hole, I think. So you got to remember, we have dug weedies and stuff here before. So this could be a weedy. It is a coin. but we've also dug Indians and in, Indians in here too. I'm gonna try to get an ID off of it. I'll be right back. I'm not seeing anything yet. All right, I did get an ID off of it. You can see Lincoln there. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see the date or not there. I don't have that great eyes, so I probably can't really see it, but it's definitely a weedy. <laughs> Wish I could kind of see the date. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but uh, hey, I found a coin where we've been in here a few times, so we can't beat that. All right, so I covered the plug back up where I just found that weedy, and check this out. Where'd it go now? There it is. I bet you there's another coin in there. It's probably another weedy. I mean, if it's an early, we if it's an early weedy, it could be an Indian. I'm going to dig it up right here, see if we can find it. At least it'll be easy, easier digging <laughs> since I already had the plug popped open. I mean, that's a chunk of iron that could have been ringing up like that. It sounded pretty clean. Uh, I'm gonna get the detector scanned back over it, see what else I can find. All right, so that tone I did just dig was that chunk of iron. So it was giving me a pretty good tone. Uh, 
the good news is, is that uh, the DS2 plucked out the uh, weedy out of there, so can't complain too much about that. All right, guys, so there's all kinds of stuff laying on the ground, I mean, everywhere. Uh, digging up uh, a lot of garbage, but that's okay. Uh, for one, that's one way you learn how to figure out your tones for your new metal detector. Second of all, they say dig everything because one time it might be junk, next time it might be some amazing find. You never know. I mean, there's like plates, pieces of plates everywhere. Where did I see that? There's a hunk of crock. And that would have been nice there because it has the uh, lettering there. Too bad the le all the lettering wasn't there, but, but yeah, I mean, lots of targets in here. Uh, about every five feet that I walk, there's a target, so can't complain about actually digging. I don't know if we were ever over this far. Not a whole lot of good find, but I'm gonna keep plugging through here. 15 miles to the east, Jerry is searching for a site found on an old survey map from 1865. Again, because of the thick vegetation, it is proving difficult to locate. Increasing iron audio temporarily aids in finding the old square nails in the ground, leading you directly to the home site. Everybody, we're here at the uh, the home site. Um, my first find, and I wanted to get you guys out and show you. It appears to be it was made um, from pewter. A lot of the uh, the top is pewter, but the base of it is actually wood, because I can actually just kind of peel it right away. So maybe something to a hand tool. Um, it's really hard to tell. If you guys know what it is? Go ahead and comment below. But here we go first item at this old home site. Let's go. All right, everybody. I got my very first really exciting find. And if this is what I think it is, it's really, really cool. We're in Pennsylvania and there's no really documented skirmishes from the Civil War in this area. But I got something very interesting here. Uh, I'm gonna turn it around and show you guys. If it is what I think it is, it's really cool. Let me show you what it is. That there is a fired, torn up mini ball. Three ringer. That's awesome. Who knows, somewhere out here in the forest of Pennsylvania, there could have been some soldiers running down through the woods firing each other through here. Or it could have been somebody hunting for deer. So that is awesome. I'll take it. Let's go. 
All right, everybody, I got an interesting find here. Um, I believe I know what this is. I'm gonna show it to you for those that can guess while we're looking here. So I believe this is a canister to the bottom of a, um, a miner's headlamp. Um, the oil would go in here and then the, the miner's lamp would go on top um, and then they would wear it on their hat, their miner hat. So I believe that's what that is. Um, yeah, so. Very cool. You've got an old coal miner here, or used to live at this old home site. So, all right, let's keep going. Um, mid 1800s, so that's very cool. I'm happy with that. It's a very personal item that uh, makes me feel good that we found. All right, everybody, I uh, opened up a little bit here and I got something pretty cool. It's not uh, on my bucket list, but still cool nonetheless. That, my friends, is an old hinge to a door. It is iron. You can see here it's got some, uh, had some square nails and stuff that are still in it. Um, that's pretty neat. Uh, somebody that could do hydrolysis uh, could probably actually clean that up and reuse it. Got a couple square nails right there in the end. That is cool. All right, there's lots of bricks here in the ground, so, um, or on top of the ground. So we're gonna keep going here and hopefully we get something really cool. All right, guys, very nice. All right, I got another find here, right underneath this stump that you can see in the corner of the screen. This is a very common find that we find in the woods of Pennsylvania at these old cellar holes. And to look at them, um, if you're new to metal detecting, it's like, what in the heck is that? But a lot of you guys will know what that is. Now you can see there's these little prongs here. These are reeds. And uh, that's actually a reed to a harmonica. Um, a lot of times these old, you know, home sites um, are date from the 1800s. And um, our harmonicas, a lot of them were composed of wood. So, um, yeah, so these are typically all you find is what's left of them. Very cool. Oh, that, I actually don't have one that shape. It's bigger on this end, kind of narrows down on that end. Very cool. Let's keep going. <clears throat> all right, so I got another signal here. Um, I haven't pulled it out yet. Ooh, what is that? So this was a nice tone. And <laughs> check that out. Some kind of a reflector, white reflector. Maybe, let's clean it up here a little bit. I'm not sure if that's some kind of a drawer pull or what, but let me get you a good look at it. That's nice. 15 miles back to the west, Sean is fighting the clock. He continues to dig and save his ancestors' history from the earth. All right, so decent find here. 57 on the uh, the days two. What a piece of a harmonic reed. It's a round one. I'm not sure if I've ever seen the round ones before or not. The mine have always been square, so it's a little different. All right, so. As you move around the woods, you you know, you find areas that are a little bit more open up than others. This was almost right on the surface. Got myself a little thin a little thimble. Just a copper one, but still pretty cool. Could be an advertising advertising piece, I don't know. Let's see if we can find anything else in here. All right, so I just dug up the uh, pretty much a staple of old home sites. Can you tell what it is? It's got the little uh, knob on there with the uh, patent date on it. Little little piece of a lantern. It's a tiny one. Now we're still finding stuff. Let's keep going. All right, guys. So I'm still working this downhill slope here. <clears throat> the finds just keep on coming. 
myself a little suspender clasp. Nice, nice little pretty one too. Love my suspender clasps. Still on the, still on this hunt for that elusive coin in here though. Can't find a coin, so we'll keep searching here, see if we can find it. All right, so working down over the heel side here a little bit, as you can see, the weeds are still growing up pretty good. But I did find a pretty good find here. Just a little D buckle, but I actually. I don't know if it's iron or if it's brass and the iron just like kind of corroded it, I'm not sure. But it's probably horse tack or something off of maybe like a bag. I'll take it. So we're getting signals like every three feet on this hillside right here. So hopefully that's a good, good sign of things to come here. Still on the down slope here. I had to dig way down deep for this one. Doesn't look like much. From here, do you know what it is? I don't know if I'd be considered a rat tail or not, but that's a pewter spoon bowl. Super old. That would have been here probably whenever the house was first built. Another good find. Right near where I found the, uh, the pewter spoon, not too far off. Another, another D buckle. This one's a little different than the one I found uh, earlier. This one looks like it's all iron too. No, that's it all corroded from the iron, the iron tongue, I don't know. Still another good find. I'll put it in my pouch, we'll keep going. All right, so I'm super stoked about this find. Might be the best find that I've got here. First thing I found is this. You can kind of see the silver wash. I brushed it up here and the, the actual silver wash started peeling off so I didn't get too crazy on it. So then I was fishing around in the hole and I got this little round piece. So I'm figuring that goes on in the center with the help. And then this. What have went in there? It's hard to hold it all together. So that's a pretty cool find there. Wasn't expecting that. First I saw the uh, square and then I started finding the other pieces. So that is pretty neat. Well, I'm assuming that's the way it goes. I can't complain about that. It's a good find. Actually, pretty stoked about that. So keep on swinging down here. I'm still down over the hillside. Let's keep going. So I'm still working the seal side down here. There's a ton of targets, a lot of mason jar lids, but that's all right too. I mean, you're gonna dig those in an old site. Got this. Like an old uh, cartwheel, a cartwheel, <laughs> cartwheel, caster wheel, whatever it would be. So that'd be pretty cool. I mean, if you would clean the iron thing, iron items up, which I really don't, I never have, but that would probably be cool if you cleaned that up somehow. So we'll throw this in the pouch. We'll keep on going here, see if we can find anything else on this hillside. With the five hours spent in the thick PA forest, Sean and Jerry managed to save numerous historical relics that dated back into the mid 1800s. They battled the fading sunlight and were rewarded.